Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. Can I talk about e-bike speed controllers? It's not that little screen up here. You'll hear it called a whole bunch of things. Motor controllers, speed controllers, controller. Um, but we'll dig into one over on the bench, talk through what it is and what it does. Hey, David here. I'm breaking in real quick. That link I keep mentioning takes you to a step-by-step -step page. Picking the right bike, what's inside the kit, disassembling your bike, installing the motor, five steps for an e-bike wiring and components, putting your taillight on, routing and organizing, and then it goes into other items as well. Each one of these pictures you can click on is an article with, in this case, detailed instructions for installing the motor, what tools do you need, and then it includes a video. So I keep mentioning, go to that link below. This is why I've got it all organized in a nice clean format for you to take you from start to end. So the controller on this bike or any e-bike is not this little screen. I've seen people call it that. On my particular bike, this is a mid-drive buffet it's actually located inside of the motor here, inside the motor housing. I got one on the bench though. It is basically the heart and soul of your bike. It's a little computer, right? It does everything. It connects all your electrical items together. But its primary function is controlling the current that flows from your battery to your motor. So a lot of juice. In order to get a person going on a bike 30 miles an hour, 28 miles an hour, it takes some power. And you can kind of see that reflected in the size of the wires that are used on a controller. This is going from the battery and then the other ones to our motor. So it connects up to our display main harness. This guy here is back to our motor controller. This one is to our uh, speed sensor. We've got our headlights here. So all of those things go into it. So controls the current to the motor. You can also use it for, you know, it uses the speed sensor. We talked about that in another video. It uses the cadence. It senses that movement of your pedals for applying power. Also does stuff with your, you know, your brake shutoffs and your shift sensor. So essentially a little computer that controls the power and the other electrical functions on your electric bike. That's it. Thanks.